everyone going into row 20. So I've closed in with a slip stitch. I did the walk with the single. And in here we're going to repeat the same thing. So single, two chain. We're going to do two double crochets, two chain, and two double crochets again. I'm going to come in where I have my single and I'm going to do a single. Come back in again and create two double crochet, two chain. Now, if your stitch is too tight for whatever reason to be coming down to do that one, um, to go directly to do the single, then you can do a chain, okay? All depending up on your stitch. Doesn't change anything on the pattern. Okay, so come in where you have your single, single. Now, if you need to do a chain, like I said, go ahead and do your chain. Two double crochet, two chain separation, and again. Okay. Now coming into the chains here, your one chain. So again, one, two, three, four. If you need to do five, then go ahead. I'm coming back in and doing a single. One, two, three, four. And continue to do your groups again as we've been doing here. Okay. So two double crochet, two chain for space and two more double crochet and go directly into the single if you can if not do one chain if you find that it's bending too much that's what i mean okay so i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so for the last row row 20 so i've been trying to play around with the stitch here a little bit and i've came up with different designs and i think this one is so far the one i liked so you would come in as, as a single on your first one, go into the second one single, three chain, of course the peacocks, and then come in and do two on the center here, but I'm going to show you as I'm going, and then one here. So we're going to have four peacocks, and we're going to do the triple crochet. So you turn twice on your hook, you have three. I'm going to come in this one here, okay, because I'm going to crisscross this here so i can hide this yellow piece here i had tried the other way and it wasn't hiding and i didn't like it so i'm going to do it this way so now we have the triple where we have the single here this yellow that i wanted to hide we do a single so now it's going to like an x okay triple again and now we're going to come in backwards okay and do the triple crochet take out two take out two and take out the last two so now it crisscrossed here we're going to come into the first double crochet here back loops you can grab all loops if you want i think it just looks nicer um, when it hides the stitch up front it all depends how you want it to show on your pattern you can um, you can hide it if you like, and I made a mistake already here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, no. So you come in with a single, because I'm talking and I'm not concentrating. So you come in with a single on the first double crochet. You're going to the second one with single, chain three. And you close in with single as peacock, okay? And then come into the center. And do your single and your three chain for peacock. And then again one more time in the center. So you're going to have four peacocks all together. Next space again. One, two, and three. And the last single here so now you have your four peacocks again turn twice you're going to come on this one here because then we're doing the back one okay 
come in, turn your pattern a bit so it helps you to do the triple. Come where your single is right here, to your single, and again, turn twice. So you have three on your hook, you come in the back one. So you're coming in the side to do your triple. And you come into the first double crochet here with a single. You go into the second double crochet with a single, and you start to do your peacock. So it's very simple. It's not complicated. I had it a different way, and I liked it too, but it wasn't hiding that yellow there. It was leaving it out, and I didn't like it. So I had to play around with it a couple of times. So it's going to look like that. It's like a nice 3D effect you know so i think it looks pretty once they're all fitted in gives it a nice uh outlook okay so i'll meet you when we get here not a biggie when we get there i'll meet you there okay you guys so i found another technique to do this Instead of stopping in between the single, we can just go directly. So you can do it either way. You can do it like I showed you, by single and then doing your triple again. Or, just getting into it now, so I finished doing my peacocks. You're always coming up with something new, right? Okay, so I'm going to come into the next one to do, because it's an X, right? So... And then triple again, and you can come directly into the next one. I think it makes it more faster and easier, but it's up to you. You can do it the other way. And then come directly into your single. Okay? So you can come directly right into the single. And into the next single. And then continue on. So whatever way you want to do it, either the other way you can rewind and do it the other way or do it this way. Whatever is more comfortable for you, if you find easier and faster. Okay, it doesn't change anything on the pattern. It still hides that thing in there. It's just, you know, I think it's easier. It still gives the same effect, but I think it's easier to do it this way. Okay. Okay, so now we're at this one here. See how this is going to work out, right? We're going to come in. We're going to do the triple. I guess we don't have a choice but to go in here with the single. And then come right into the next one and do the triple. And then come into the back loop up here. Into the next one. And do our peacock. into the center and continue to do our two peacocks in the center. Yes, we can hide the thread from the previous row at the same time. Really stretches out, doesn't it? I'm going to see if I can come up with something different. If I can, then I'll change it. If not, we're going to continue on this way. Okay, you guys. So, like I was mentioning, I absolutely wanted to hide this part here. So I came up with this option. The only option I could. So you know when you finish your, your pattern here, your crisscross here, you have the last one here. Exactly, we do one at the beginning. We have to do one at the end. So you just come in. 
Now you do your triple. I'm going to pin it right on the first chain here, like that, okay? One, two, three chain. I'm going to come behind the white one here, and I'm going to do a single front post. One, two, three, which is very simple, right? And again, I'm going to come into... I'm going to do the, let me see how I do this here. Okay, so do the triple, the first one here. And come in our first double crochet here. Okay, so we did our first single going into the second one here on the second double crochet, right? And do our peacock. Now you could always rewind, and if you have on slow speed, the video makes it easier on YouTube. Okay, and I got the schnizzles beep. Um, what, how do you call it? The um, sniffles, I guess. Snizzles, sniffles, I can't remember. You know, the sinus is kicking in, and I've been. Uh, Feeling horrible for the past two days with uh, chronic sinus, and um, it's just awful. I try to talk, and sometimes it just comes rough. Okay, uh, so we did, um, okay, so we have one more, and my nose keeps running, and at first I go, oh my God, don't tell me it's COVID, because I had caught COVID back in January. And I've been coughing a lot and congestion and everything, but what threw me off a bit, not being COVID because of the sore throat in a year, and that usually comes from the side. So I did a COVID test, and thank God that, no, it had nothing to do with it. Okay, so here we go again. One, two, three, four. So we're back into the crisscross here with the triple. And makes it easier this way, I think, than the other way. So whatever way works, then that's fine. Okay, and then we're coming into the first double crochet with a single, into the second with a single, and do your peacock. So you know that at the beginning there's only there's no crisscross, right? I'll show you in a second. I'm just trying to get my stitch in here. So at the beginning there's only one. Right, and also at the end, once you do your triple, you hook it in on the stitch back here with a slip stitch or single, it doesn't matter. Chain three and do front post coming in from the back, like that. Take your hook and single chain three, and then you can do already your, your triple, or you can hook it already here on the first with a with a single and then do your your triple i went directly and as you saw if you need to rewind then go ahead i think it it looks better this way it hides more of that gives just a bit of that yellow okay so once i get to here again i'll show you one more time okay so we're back into that one alone right because we started with one by itself at the beginning and we're going to do the same thing So we're going to close this one alone, right? It's no crisscross. I'm just going to hook it right back here on the first one just to hold it together with a slip stitch. One, two, and three. I'm going to come right down here, right from the back, and we're doing the front post. This is just a way to hide, you know, some of the yellow. We don't want too much of that popping out. We want to see the design. One, two, and three. And then we're going to come um, and do the other front uh, triple here directly. Now, if you don't want to go directly, you can go uh, into the first one here automatically and then do it. It's up to you. Like, 
prefer to do it this way. It's just faster, I guess. But, I mean, it doesn't change anything. You can just go directly after your chain three and hook it on here. And then come down and do your, your triple. Okay, so I'll show you in case some of you get mixed up. So you can come directly with a slip stitch. And then you can come and do your, your triple. Okay, and then you can go directly in here too. And then you can do right away your, um, your peacock. And then do the other peacock, the two peacocks here in the center. So whatever way works for you, whatever is more comfortable, still comes out the same effect and the same design, so it doesn't change anything. Okay, so continue yours. I'll continue mine until the end. If I'm going to add different stuff or, or something to it, I'll come back to it. If not, then I'll still come back and, and say my goodbyes. Okay, so I'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, I pretty much came to the last one. So I did my three chains, I did my triple at the same time, and I just closed in on the first uh, chain that we did here, the single that we did here. And now I'm just going to tuck in the loose end. And I'm going to see if I'm going to add anything else to it. And if I do, I'll come back to you on it. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to do the multicolored ring. I'm going to try this, see if it works. So now, in order to start it off, I'm going to turn my pattern and I'm going to grab it. As you can see right down here, and do a single okay and then do one chain and I'm going to come into the first one here because I'm going up do my thread on the other side and slip stitch one chain and into the next one now if you need to do two chain go ahead so it doesn't pull so I'm probably gonna do two because this is a thinner thread I don't want it to be too up high and I gotta put my thread behind the hook into the next one. I'll show you in a second so you can see what I'm doing here. So I have to do two. One's not enough. Two chain. So I'm going into these little loops, the uh, chains here, as you see, where we have the chain. And I'm going to continue on through here and then through here. And then into the next one here. Got to keep my thread behind the hook. And don't tighten it too much because it's going to pull. If you need to do three chain, then go ahead because I know some of you have extreme tight stitches. 
And you don't have to do this either. I mean, you can just leave it as is. I'm just doing it because I like to always have something different. And make sure that's not pulling. So I was debating if I was going to put just army green or brown, or but I didn't have enough brown. So because I that was my first thought was to go in with the brown. A multicolored mixed brown, like lighter shades, darker shades. Okay, so now we're at the top here. And now we're going to go into, so I'm going to do one more chain, three, and I'm coming into the next one here. And then just continue until here, and then I'll meet you here. Okay, so now I'm reaching the top here on the last one. So I'm just going to come on my last one here. Oops. Then we'll just pull the threads close enough to the edge. Now when you get here, Doing one chain and I'm coming in with a single or we can just continue on doing slip. Just going into each space here. One chain into the next space. One chain. Oops. I did a slip stitch here. So I think I'll be doing slip stitch instead. I think it looks better. Sometimes you have to put it to the test. So one chain, slip stitch, one chain. You can do the single if you want. If you want it to really like stand out as a 3D. Now like I said, if your chain is too tight, then do two chain instead of one. Okay, so I'm going to continue one on each one, and then I'm going to come down through here, and then come through this side. So as you see, I slip stitch all the way here, and now I'm coming down this way. So you have to turn your pattern. Do your one chain. And come down into the other the other space. Actually one chain's not enough. I forgot I need to do two chain. And then just keep following all the way down. Don't forget here we need to do three chain because there's much of a more of a space. And then just continue on. Okay, so I've reached the bottom. And I'm just going to come in where I started the first one. Okay. And then... Two 
two chain. And you're going to turn your pattern. It's much easier when you have it on your chest, you can play. So I'm going to do three chain now. And go into the next into the next one here right beside it because we're going back up to chain. And now we're going to work on this one. So simple. It's just a little bit tricky. But like I said, you work better when it's on your chest. Right? My hands are stretched out so it makes it look more complicated. But it really isn't. Now it's going to look beautiful because it changes color, so it's just going to look perfect. Okay, so just continue the same thing again as we did. If you need to rewind, go ahead. I'm going to continue mine and then come back to you at the end. Okay, so I almost forgot this part. Now because we are here, if we go into the next one, that means this space will be open, right? So we got to just work with it a bit so i'm going to do two chain and i'm going to come in where we have the other one there i'm going to do two chain again and i'm going to come back to it to continue working it I think I was off camera and then go up again So now at least we cover this part here so it can close in. If you want to leave it open, you can just start from here instead of here, right? And then you're just going to keep following and this part here will stay open. Okay? Okay, everyone, so pretty much finished doing it. I think it looks fantastic. Now, you know about to block and... You know, you don't have time to iron it. You don't have time to, you know, get it all straightened out. So what I like to do, this is laundry softener. I've mentioned this in a few videos, in the last few videos. And it's just any um, laundry softener. It smells really good. And at the same time, it blocks your stitches. And you just put a few sprinkles here and there and you just stretch it out with your hands and you put it in an area flat and it becomes very flat and straight without any hassle so just pretty much spray little pieces here and there i hope that you enjoyed this tutorial please give a thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet please do so it's free the button is there. It's just a click away, and it helps the channel. Thank you so much, everybody. God bless. Take care of yourselves and each other. Let me know what you think about this doily, table doily uh, sort of runner, let's say. We're perfect for a small little table, um, corner table, or plant table, anything like that. Thank you so much, everybody. Much hugs to every single one of you. Take care. Till next time.